Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Hey, 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 hey. I got a little clapping. Hey! Who in here has ever like had an issue with boundaries? Any of you ever do that? Yeah, yeah, me too. Here's how it happened. At one point in time, uh, I like would have these blocks and segments in my, I had a brick and mortar gym, blocks and segments where I wanted people to come in and like, uh, like do their thing. But like when I needed to work, I needed to work. And I was really good at getting the work done if nobody bothered me. And what would happen is people would come up and in my two hour window, I do two hours of conversation that I shouldn't have been having. It sound familiar. And the next thing you know, the two hours is gone and nothing I wanted to get done got done. And I'm gonna walk you through what I call bulletproof boundaries because we gotta have boundaries. And I don't think enough people think this way. So what I'm gonna look at is like, what are the things that become issues in my life and how can I get to the point of creating boundaries to keep the good things in and the bad things out. It's all about having focus and discipline, right? Well, I can't be focused and disciplined if I have no boundaries, can't get anything done, right? So I'm focused on how do I, I look at this aspect of setting a boundary so I can stay disciplined. This is the discipline aspect, bulletproof boundaries. So here's what I do. This is what I call the foundation. The word discipline is interesting. It's like it actually has some ties to disciple and plan. So discipline essentially means Am I following disciple the plan? And most of us, we'll do a good job of making that plan, won't we? We'll get vision boards, get the plan. I got a plan over here. I got this whole structure right. And then I get down, I say, okay, from nine to 10 a.m., I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do this thing in preparation. And then all of a sudden what happens is I don't do it. And usually the reason I don't do it is because I, I didn't anchor down the foundation, I call it, of why it's gotta get done. It's a nice to do, but we don't make it a need to do. And so what I do with people, and I, I tell you in the very beginning, is like, you got to get to a point where you sit down and say, look, why am I doing this? Like, why does it got to get done right now at this time? Because if not, then it's like, ah, oh, you know what? I, I can do that tomorrow. I, I saw this new, new show popped up on Netflix, and maybe I'll go watch that. And I, I heard about this cool documentary. Or I start scrolling through social media, right? And so what happens is we didn't put a foundation as why in the world must this get done right now? Then what I do, I teach people, you got to put in, what I call parameters. Now, think of it like this. If I'm on a road and I'm driving somewhere, the parameters are the lines of the road. Now, a lot of people don't set the lines of the road. What can I go into and go out of? Now, if, if you think about it, it's not fun to work towards a goal and be so militant and rigid that you hate the process of actually going down the path towards the goal. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's like, I want to achieve it, but I don't want to achieve it and like have to like not enjoy my life. Like I want to smell the roses. I want to go have a beer, hang out with the girls, go for take, take a trip, catch a movie if I want to. It's just, I want to be able to enjoy it. So what I tell people is you actually have to set parameters that feel good to you. Not what somebody says, not what you read on the internet, not what your, your idol and hero person said. What feel like good parameters to you, right? So just so you know, my parameters for life are after about the time of 334, like, don't message me because I'm probably not going to message you back. I'm a family guy. I am in what I call season of dad right now. So I got a 16-year-old, I got 11-year-old twins, and I got a wife, and we, we have a family, and I love my family, and that's the core of my humanity. And so whenever I look at my parameters, like, I know what I'm doing and why. So, but at the same time, like, I may not work at the level of somebody who's like, you know what, I work, you know, I get up at 6, and I'm working until, like, you know, 10, and then I'm going straight till 8 p.m. That's great. It's just not going to work for me. And I'm not going to feel bad, which you shouldn't feel bad, simply because you're not doing what somebody else is doing. So you have to actually set your own parameters of what the parameters are that you will stay in the lanes. I don't go here. I don't go here. I stay straight in this lane. Then we have number three is what I call awareness. Now, this is big. Awareness is essentially, as you're going through your life, are you presently aware in the moments of when situations are coming up? So you ever heard of the thing at hindsight's 2020, right? Like, oh man, I, I wish I would have thought about this back then, right? People don't presently become aware. So the parameters they set, they don't actually look at them. They're just, it's like, it's like driving down that road. I have my parameters and what happens is I'm looking at my radio or I'm texting. And what happens, we do this, we crash. So what I tell people is in the moments of when you're living your life and doing your stuff, the awareness piece is essentially you want to go back and have times or moments where you actually check. 
This is time audits throughout the day. This is like every once in a while, like set an alarm on your phone. I've done this where I'm like, I set an alarm so it goes off to remind me to check what I'm doing. And I kid you not, it'll catch me in the middle of scrolling through Facebook. But I'm supposed to be writing emails. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so I go and I got a little egg timer. I'm dead serious. I might've shown this in the past. I have a fucking like egg timer that I use specifically for this. It just goes on my desk and I spin it and I put, I put it down. And I go here, all right, this is, my, this is my thing and my awareness. So what I'm doing is, I and you should be trying to be presently aware of all you within your parameters. Because when it comes to being disciplined, if, if you can't stay in that lane, which thing about discipline is staying consistent to the plan over time. If you aren't able to be presently aware, you don't get that thing done. And then you feel crappy because oh, I didn't get that thing done. And then the progress isn't made. And I got to make excuses to other people or to myself. I fought of integrity internally. I start thinking, man, I don't know if, I'm, if it's for me. I can't even, man, I can't even get my stuff done. I, uh, you're right. It's a downward spiral. And all you get to do is not scroll on social media or not go out and hang out, like whatever it might be. Awareness is a big piece. So you have to be aware of what are the things going on. Then comes to a big one. And this is the one that I think we got to spend some time on right now. It's called triggers. Now, in life, there are certain things that are triggers, that trigger the awareness. So it's not just a matter of hoping and setting an alarm for it all the time. You can actually have triggers in life that tell you like, hey, what's really going on? Like I got, you know, some idea of like realistically here's what's going on. And so what you should do in this moment, if you get time or like at some point after this, I want you to sit down and think about in my own life, what are the typical triggers that I experience that throw me off? So we have triggers things that follow in. So for your own life, as people keep doing this, what you think about is, does your wife come in and bother you? Do your kids come in? Does your phone keep ringing, right? And what you do is you plan in moments where you have to be focused, how to adapt and honestly adjust to the triggers that are constantly popping up in your life. And it's going to be unique to you, obviously, completely unique, right? And so when I have this unique piece, I can actually weave in like, how am I going to do what I got to do in this moment to address the trigger? And the triggers, the thing we're going to talk about goes to the last piece, which is called willpower. Now, the willpower is a piece that I think a lot of people really fail in. And this is the one thing that you get this right. It's a game changer. So let's be honest. If you think about it, there's times you meet people or people in your life and, you know, they say, hey, you know, I, I, you want to go hang out somewhere or your husband's like, you know, hey, do you want to uh, go watch a movie? Somebody says, hey, do you want to go do this thing? And because it's a good lead into training people, because in the past, you've always been like, yeah, yeah, no, I'll count me and I'll go do that thing, right? What they do is they ask you and then you say, no, I can't. So what do they say? Oh, come on, right? And you go, no, I really can't. Nah, come on, okay. And then you often go do it. You have now trained them that all they got to do is ask you about two times and sure enough, you're off, Right. So what I found is like, all right, well, how can I manage this and how can I do what's necessary? I must have in the moment willpower because what happens is if all of a sudden they ask me one time and I do it, they're going to ask me one time and I'm going to do it. If the next time they ask me and I, I do it twice and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, cool, they're going to do it. They're going to do the same thing twice. But listen, if I say no and they ask, you sure you want to go? I say no. Come on, you want to go? I say no. Come on, no. All right, ah, all right, he doesn't want to go. They leave me alone. Took them four times. My willpower held up. Then for my willpower, I was able to press off and stay disciplined on what I had to get done, right? Then what happens is they come up again. Hey, you want to uh, you wanna watch this TV show? No, I can't do it. You want to watch TV show? No. Okay, whatever. Twice. Ooh, twice, right? Then what happens in the future, if they come ask, hey, do you want to go down and uh, you know catch the show? I don't want to do it. Okay, off and going. It's easy. But the thing is, a lot of people, they break it far too fast because they don't have a foundation. There's no parameter of what they can and can't do. They're not able to be presently aware of what should take place. They don't have any triggers in place that they've planned for. Because, for example, if you have children, my, my trigger in my life is like if they ask a question, I legitimately, the first thing I say is no. I just, hey, dad, can I? No. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> so I've already been in the realm of no. If I want to say yes, I can change it. I quite literally am like, nope. That's my trigger for their asking of questions. Now, obviously I will say yes. I'm like, what do you want? They just know, but like, I'm already in a space of no. So if it's a no, I'm like, I already said no. And they're like, all right, they move on. They get it, right? But I have a trigger, I have a response and I know it in advance before I get to it. So for you, your trigger may not be people. It might be the notification on your, on your computer when it pops up. Could be an email that comes in. 
What is my triggered response to stay disciplined in this bucket of time I have to get something done? And then do I have the willpower to hold the way I got to hold? I'm telling you the difference between those who are good and great is not the information. It's who's able to do what they have to do with that information. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.